Hello. Not long ago, photographer Blake Rudis presented a webinar for Topaz Labs explaining how to incorporate Topaz plugins in recorded actions in Adobe Photoshop. He showed us how to save lots of time with these plugins. But what if you don't have Photoshop? What if you can't afford the 600 plus US dollars for Photoshop CS6? Is there an alternative? Adobe's much cheaper but powerful Photoshop Elements, which many of us use, won't work because it can't record actions. The other applications listed as compatible on Topaz Labs website won't do the job either. But there is an alternative. It's called Photoline, a German published photo editor plus that sells for about the price of Photoshop Elements. This YouTube video is directed at both Topaz users who don't have Photoshop and Photoline users who aren't familiar with Topaz plugins. My thanks to Mr. Rudis for this idea. Recording actions with Topaz plugins saves lots of time in situations where you intend to reuse preset adjustments on other images. On the Topaz website is a listing of host applications for both Macintosh and Windows. Adobe Photoshop CS4 to CS6 is the only application on the list that will record Topaz plugins and actions on both Mac and Windows platforms. In addition to the resources here on the screen, I'd suggest you spend some time reviewing the instructional videos and webinars for the plugins on the Topaz Labs channel and YouTube. With that out of the way, it's time to look at an image in PhotoLine. Here I'm working with a much smaller image than you would normally get directly from your digital camera. Processing of bigger images will take more time. The various panels here on the right side of the screen are seen by going to View and selecting Panels and then you just choose the panels that which you want to appear in the right side of the screen. Now here we're using the Action Panel, the Layers Channels Panel, and the Undo List. As you can see, PhotoLine crams a lot of information into the Actions Panel, but we'll be concerned with only the two left side boxes, checking and unchecking those boxes as we prepare our Topaz actions. In PhotoLine we're going to create a new action by going to the Actions panel over here and we click the New Action button and give it a title. We'll call it Topaz Test. If we like we can add a description here and click OK and you see there is the Topaz, Topaz test among the actions list, but there's nothing there. So we have to press the record button to start recording and we'll add the actions and when we finish we'll stop recording. So we begin. The first thing we do is create a copy of the background by right clicking and Duplicate Layer. We'll name this Topaz Actions. Now we go up to the Filter menu on PhotoLine, select Topaz Labs, and the first one I'm going to select is Topaz Adjust. We'll do nothing on the right hand side Tweaking the presets, we'll just choose one of the re presets here, and I'm going to uh, choose high key, so something that, that uh, is easy for you to see on the recorded uh, YouTube video, and select OK. Next, I'm going to add another filter, and Topaz Labs Denoise. Normally I'd add denoise at the first, 
but uh, I want to show you later on how I can move this around and this actually doesn't need a, a noise filter applied but we'll apply JPEG light okay and then next we're going to add Topaz detail and we'll try uh, medium that looks okay so from a creative detail collection overall detail medium and now I'm going to record an action that's already on my list to show that we can include one action inside another action this is a high pass action number two it's one of my uh, presets that I have and I'll press the play button and it plays and down here in the undo list you see that we have duplicate layer picture name topaz adjust topaz denoise topaz detail and high pass 2 and back up under actions I'll press stop recording if I open up the topaz test action by pressing this little plus sign here scrolling down I can see what I've done and what's included in the action I recorded so back to the undo list press start go back to the beginning and then return to the action list and let's play that action to make sure that it's working all done so now we've included several topaz filters in a recorded action what I want to do now is edit that action now I'm going to put a stop in the action on Topaz Adjust that will run Topaz Adjust it'll stop the action and seek user input before it continues and I'm going to move Topaz Denoise ahead of Topaz Adjust and the high pass action that I applied I'm going to delete it by selecting it and pressing delete action so now I have duplicate layer picture name topaz denoise and then topaz adjust it will stop uh, asking for input and then we'll finish with topaz detail we'll apply it again and now it's asking for input and this time we'll select brilliant cold and there it's finished the application of all of the various functions in the action we recorded in some cases you may want to run this action on a large number of images perhaps you took uh, several uh, shots of, of the same image and you want to apply all of those adjustments to the same images so we can do that in photo line with a batch file let's prepare the topaz actions here for the batch file and, and I'm going to shorten uh, what's happening by one turning off the stop and two deleting denoise so what we'll have then is duplicate layer picture name 
Topaz Adjust and Topaz Detail running in this test. And I'll close out that picture there. To run batch files in photo line, choose File, Browse, or you can hit Control B. That brings up the Browse window. In the upper left hand corner is a gear icon. Hit the gear icon and choose Batch Converting. Now in Batch Converting, you want to choose your source folder and if it does not open up in the source folder you want to use click the browse button to browse until you find the source folder over here on the left hand side under picture type i'm going to choose the default of all files because i have four jpegs i want to process however i could uh, if, if i had multiple file types i could select jpegs uh, to so that I process only the JPEGs. There's a convert action and the default is no action but I want to choose my Topaz test and my destination folder it's coming up on batch process and that's what I want. Uh, if I don't have the destination folder something other than the, what's shown above in source folder when you run the it'll give you a prompt uh, saying uh, are you sure you want to do this picture type in this case same as import alright let's run the batch file and the batch file is done. We can close this and go into the file that contains the batch files and there's one. There's the first one we were looking at originally and there's number three and there's number four. All of the Topaz plugins except Remask will work in the recorded action in PhotoLine. The recording of Topaz plugin should be reserved for those situations where you need to apply the plugin adjustment to an entire image. Local adjustments, that is, changes to only part of the image, should come in the photo line layers and mask after you've run the action. Actions will speed up your workflow in many cases. Photo line and Topaz plugins are a good match in actions. You can get free trials of both photo line and Topaz plugins to find out if they'll work in your situation. I hope this little tutorial has been of some benefit to you and thank you for watching.